to start by asking you about on the house. Um, how is how did you get that started? What was the process? What sort of inspired you and, and kicked off the idea? Um, cut a long story short, when I when I first arrived back from living in India and um, Southeast Asia, um, I came back with the mindset that I did not I wanted. I'd been things have been shaping for years about I wanted to do something in my own way that gave back to the world, but also formed community. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, when I came back, I, the Free Store in Wellington, uh, Benjamin Johnson, had just started to make traction on a, on, a, on a little prototype of the Free Store, which was an arts-based project at the time, an empty shop on Gusman Street. Thought it was a great concept, but kind of shelved it because I'd arrived back and was trying to find my way in the world and where I fitted and where I could be of benefit rather than just slotting back into a contracting role. And um, in recent times, now that I have moved location to uh, New Plymouth and been able to create my own community yoga space, um, that's been coming forward for me even more. And um, someone else approached me because they'd seen Benjamin profiled on a TV program. And I said, let's do it. And it went from there, really. Researching, connecting with other free stores and um, sharing the knowledge and then I think I just I think with a lot of things we overthink things and we think yeah. and then we get into the fear-based things and no action is taken. So my thing with on the house was take action mm. and then just see where it goes. So I was very lucky in that the building owner could find the physical space we could have it. And once you have a physical space, then it's just putting some things together very simply to start the process. Because I really believe that the process informs how it's going to grow. Mm. You can have enough structure and systems behind it, but the process of how it's going to grow is informed by the community. Because mm. quite often with community-based projects, what I've experienced is that we come to the community with what we think they need. So you have to be, and, and it's not an easy place to be. There's a real friction in it because it's like, oh, well, where are we going and what's happening? And, and you have to be able to sit back and trust enough that you've got enough in place to allow them to then start to inform your decisions. That makes a lot of sense because, you know, obviously the community is so different here than it would be. Yeah. Um, you can take knowledge from other people and read and, uh, and things like that, but you, it, you have to test it in the real because we're not Wellington and we're not the free store in Palmerston North or, or Nourish for Nil in Hawke's Bay. Everyone has a different culture. New Plymouth culture is quite unique mm. um, in terms of how we've been settled and colonialised, which then comes through to um, what, how our poverty is manifesting in lots of different ways. Um, so yeah, and, um, and you've got to ride it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's interesting, I really like what you said about being focused on the action. Did you find, and often we sort of override this with, like you say, thinking which is all, often we're sort of putting barriers up because there's sort of fear based to it. Did you find focusing on the, those actions and just not trying to um, think too much you know, further down the line, do you, did you find there was sort of a natural momentum that yes. came with that? Yeah. There was, and, and you had to be comfortable with that momentum because it would go whoosh and then it would stop and ground and you'd go, oh, nothing, you know. Um, the person that was working alongside me was like, well, nothing's happening. Well, oh, oh, well, you've got to be really comfortable with that because there's going to be a natural settling period. You can't always be going up mm. or forward with speed. My, my thing is slow and steady, mm. and then you bed in that pace and then you'll get another rush of momentum and there's another... Uh, piece unfolding or something else you go mm, we need to work on that um, and that way it's never dull moment yeah. um, it's always yeah and the, the process is informing yeah the structure of how we go and obviously there's things in the background and ideas and seeds that keep popping up but it's about being able to bed them in and test them mm. and then tweak them and go oh well, that was good but that didn't work and be, be comfortable with throwing stuff out and um, like we were talking a little bit earlier um, there is no blueprint there is no structure and so sometimes you think oh but other people have done it this way or um, businesses do it this way and this is the other thing this is not a business mm. this is a community and so those rules don't apply so it's about being comfortable with 
carving your own path. Mm. Um, and the right people come forward to um, that connect and resonate with that to help you along the way and to grow because you don't have all the skill set, mm. nor should you in, in my respect, really. So they come in with their pieces, their ads, and it just slowly unfolds. And it's... Um, yeah, it's an amazing process, but for a lot of people it's not that easy because mm. there is no blueprint and some people need that structure and find it quite hard to step out of that. So did you find quite a lot of resistance then yeah. in, in being in that space? Yeah, and I still yeah. get a little bit of it. They just think, well, you're bonkers, you know. Um, but for me it's more than proven itself over, over a year and, it has, and, it, and it's got a, a real solidity to it. Mm. Um, yeah, people, because... They just don't see how it can work. You've got to be a charity. You've got to do this. You've got to link with us. You've got to. I feel like in the way the world is is moving, this is in a very exciting time in terms of people um, not throwing the baby out the, with the bathwater necessarily, but actually beginning to think differently about how we were we're working, but yes. also how we are growing as community. And I think there's been a lot of separation in the past. Mm. This is my working life. This is my oh, community definitely. life. This is my family life. Well, I actually think when those separations are breaking down and we move, how we work is linked into how we are as community. And so, yeah, it all comes together. Yes. And we're the same authentic person wherever we're at. We're mm. not trying to fit a mould for work and then a mould for home. And then, a, yeah, because I think that has not, not really served us very well and has possibly cause a high rate of anxiety. Mm. Um, I think you're absolutely yeah. right. And I I'm, you know, concur. I'm a big one in telling people and in talking to my clients about that congruency between all their factors, um, you know, their home and their life and, and work and community. I think it's really interesting. I think where we're at now is there's a lot of support on the sort of theoretical level but like you say when you actually get down to the practical yeah. there's a bit of sort of resistance like, to it this oh. is different and it yeah. feels weird and and it's for me what I what's come up a lot is trusting yourself mm. but also other people need to trust you mm. they need to trust that um, we are going to make mistakes no I'm not perfect um, nothing is perfect and in fact in those imperfections they are the growth for me they are where, the, where, where it gets oh, sticky is yeah. where it gets intense and we go oh that's where, the, where we really start to get together and go okay how can we solve this and bring the innovation and the creative thinking to things yes um which but is yeah, interesting, it's kind of the trust, trust, isn't it? Yeah. It's those sticky things actually being, this is like an opportunity for yeah. growth and for learning rather than, okay, we need to push that away, it's yeah. getting too difficult. And there's a lot of talk about it. There's a huge amount of talk about community and all that sort of, like you said, there's a lot of talk, but we need to take action and we need yes. to walk it on the ground and know that we're not going to be perfect. Because I feel like also, unfortunately, in some respects, and I see it as a movement and yoga teacher, uh, more and more, um, and I think it may be the rise of social media may be a link to this, but people seem to think everything has to be perfect before they start. Yep, yep. And um, this perfectionism has really done us a disservice as well because no, it, it's not going to be, if we waited around to, for it to be perfect, we'd never get started. Oh, we've got this perfect community model, but we just wait for this part, or, or maybe we need to do this part, or we'll do this report. You just need to get down on the ground and do it and get your hands dirty. Mm. And um, that's where the reward comes as well in terms of growth of you as a person and as an individual and then and, and, and actually learning to collaborate down in the dirt because mm. um, there's a lot of talk about collaboration. But, but it's sort of talk up here, yeah, it's not actually... A lot integrity. of people are still really afraid of that because they feel like they're going to lose themselves in the process or yeah. their... Or their or their banner or their idea or um, but true collaboration is about we do disagree and um, but we work, we don't walk away go oh well that's it you're black you're white we're not having this yeah we get around the table and we work it through mm. and we come to um, some some kind of congruency and sometimes people that it's not congruent for them authentically so they do walk away and that's okay um, but for me, real collaboration and the excitement and the innovation around that is happening on the ground, getting stuck in and actually doing it. Mm. And I do believe we can. A lot of people want to do stuff and it's almost like they're stuck in a holding pattern, but they feel like um, it's going to be too hard or they won't be supported. Um, 
or you know, you know, how do I get started? And you can create something from nothing. Keep it really simple. Keep it really, really small, and 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 just one one little piece at a time. Mm. And also, this is my thing. We're not having enough fun. We've got incredibly serious about everything. Everything's really serious and it has to be done right. And where's the um, spontaneity and the fun and things are meant to be enjoyed in life, I believe. And I think we need to bring that into our working life. You know, we've got this whole work and play separation, but when they come together, something really magical happens. Work doesn't have to be to be valuable of value and to be actually making a difference and and you getting ahead in business or whatever doesn't have to be so serious and hard and it's such a struggle. Absolutely. Almost like we're addicted to the struggle. Yes. And, I, and I've been struggling myself all year to push that away and to actually enjoy it, relax and link in and enjoy it and laugh and, 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 and encourage others to do that as well. Mm. Um, and, and and not be afraid. And if we if we stuff up because we always we all do um being able to work through that and have lightness mm. a, a bit a, a sense of lightness to what we're doing mm. i think that's great um you know what you've just said and i really love the insight about you know just getting out and doing something but keeping it really really small and really mm. simple because i think a lot of that like you say a lot of the stress the anxiety the weight comes from wanting to have something all the process all the systems everything when actually you don't it doesn't, it's, and it's not the best way to go about it. It's just start small, be simple, one step at a time, and th that momentum will come. So I, I really love that. I think yeah, that's really insightful. because I think we can get... And it's, and it's also a process, and when I lived in the arts world and I was an artist, it was a process that, that, that art making has, that creation mm. has. It's um, so the same because you can get yeah. very bogged down. I remember when I yeah. did art, I just, you know, when I was younger, I just kept getting too bogged down. And um, that's why. Oh, the was... perfection, the tree has to yes. look like this. Well, no, you're not taking a photo. You're using paint, and paint has a voice and it will speak back to you. Again, that's the process speaking back to mm. you for me. So I kind of apply the principles from my artistic life, my creative life, and my, um, and my yoga life. They all come, no, nothing separated, mm. it all informs. Um, how I manage and sometimes I do feel like I'm stuck together with sticky tape and um, I'm going oh I'm not sure what's happening in this period but we're we're moving along here we're flowing and then but it's just getting comfortable with that 